This week, the U.S. Army Contracting Command in Newark, New Jersey, awarded a $14.96 million contract to U.S. Ordnance, based in Sparks, Nevada, for the supply of an unspecified number of M60E4 and M60E6 machine guns. Along with the firearms, the contract includes spare parts, accessories, conversion kits, and training services. The award has sparked intrigue within the defense community, particularly since the U.S. Army phased out the M60 machine gun decades ago, leading to speculation about the intended recipient and the operational purpose of these weapons. The M60 machine gun, chambered for the 7.62 by 51 mm NATO round, was developed in the late 1940s and entered service in the 1950s. It drew inspiration from German automatic weapons such as the MG42 and FG42, which had proven highly effective during World War II. The M60 quickly became a staple for U.S. forces during the Cold War and gained iconic status due to its extensive use in the Vietnam War. Over the years, the M60 has undergone various modifications to suit different military applications, from infantry use to mounting on vehicles, aircraft, and naval platforms. However, by the 1990s, it was gradually replaced by the more reliable M240B in most U.S. Army units, though some branches and special forces continue to use it in limited roles. Despite the M60 being largely retired from frontline service, the M60E4 and M60E6, also known as the 43 Malawian Quachas, represent modernized versions of the original design. These variants are lighter, shorter, and equipped with modern features such as accessory rails for optics and lasers, an upgraded gas system for improved reliability and ergonomic enhancements. While these updates significantly improve the weapon's functionality, they have not been widely adopted by the U.S. Army. Instead, foreign military forces have been the primary users of these models. The Danish Army, for instance, became the first to adopt the M60E6 in 2014, finding it a suitable replacement for older general-purpose machine guns. Some U.S. Special Operations Units and Training Forces still employ these versions for specific missions. The contract awarded to U.S. Ordnance does not specify the quantity of machine guns or conversion kits to be delivered, nor does it clarify the intended recipient. This lack of detail has led to speculation within the defense community. One theory suggests that these machine guns could be intended for a foreign ally, possibly Ukraine, as part of ongoing military aid packages. Ukraine has been receiving extensive military support from the U.S. and other NATO countries in its ongoing conflict with Russia. However, with the U.S. facing depleted funds for new aid packages, transferring surplus military equipment through the Excess Defense Articles EDA, program has been suggested as a viable alternative. The provision of M60E4 and M60E6 machine guns could fit within this framework, allowing Ukraine or another ally to benefit from these weapons without the need for fresh procurement funding. Alternatively, the machine guns could be destined for another U.S. government entity or a foreign partner under a different arrangement. The Pentagon has remained silent on the matter, further fueling curiosity about the contract's ultimate purpose. The M60's resurgence in the form of this contract raises questions about the role these machine guns might play in modern conflicts. The U.S. Army has largely shifted to more advanced weapon systems like the M240B, but the M60E4 and M60E6 remain useful in specific situations particularly in environments where lighter, more compact machine guns are needed. As the defense community continues to speculate, the contract reflects a renewed interest in a weapon that had largely been retired from U.S. military service. Whether the M60 is being revived for use by a foreign ally or for another purpose remains to be seen, but the deal highlights the enduring utility of the platform in various military contexts. In the coming months, more details may emerge, shedding light on the motivations behind this unexpected acquisition and the future role of the M60 in global defense operations.